Hey YouTube, this is a recurrence proof by Master Theorem. So here we want to prove that the recurrence t of n, which equals 4 times t of n divided by 2 plus n, belongs to or equals big O of n squared by the Master Theorem. So the definition of the Master Theorem is here. If t of n equals a, where a is a constant greater than 0, times t of n divided by b, where b is greater than 0, plus some function, then we get this here, which is theta of n to the d, or theta of n to the d times log n, given these conditions. If d is greater than log base b of a, then it's theta n to the power of d. If d is equal to log base b of a, then uh, t is theta of n to the d times log n. And uh, if d is less than log base b of a, then t of n is theta of n log base b of a. So here, let's prove it. We see that our t of n equals 4t n divided by 2 plus n. So that means that our a equals 4, our b equals 2, and our d equals 1 because n is to the power of 1. Okay, so now we need to determine which one of these t belongs to. So let's check. We have one. Uh, let's see if it's greater than, because that's what we kind of want to check anyways, is, is big O of n to the power of 2. So this looks like n to the power of something. So let's check that. So we have to check that d is greater than log base b of a. So log base 2 of a. And this right here equals 1 greater than uh, 2. Okay. So it's not that. So let's get rid of this. Let's try this one here because we saw that it was less than. So let's check that D is less than log base B of A. So here our D equals 1, uh, B equals 2, and A equals 4. And we know this is true. We get 1 is less than 2, which is true. Therefore, t of n belongs to theta of n log base b of a, which means that is theta of n log base 2 of 4, which means it's theta n squared. And if you know theta definition, something is a function belongs to theta of g of n if that function belongs to big O g of n and if that function belongs to big omega g of n. So yes, this is true. So f of n equals 
big O of n squared. Thanks.